Okay, today we are going to start using SketchUp Online and to do that we are going to do a, a rather simple little project and we're going to draw a little medieval castle such as the one you can see here. Okay, let's get going. Welcome aboard. We're going to draw a medieval castle using SketchUp Online. Okay, I'm in my Chromebook so I'm going to do everything on the Chromebook. And I'm going to point my Chrome browser to app.sketchup.com. If you've used it before, it may log you straight in. So what I'll do is I'll log out for those people new to it. They will come to a page that looks like this. Okay. Sign up or sign in with your school account, your Gmail account. So it'll pop up there, schoolsnet.com or .act.edu.au. And it'll bring you back here. It may, I'll just make a new drawing. It may have thrown you straight into a screen like this. It's an American piece of software. By default, it'll be feet and inches. So I want you to make sure it's not. Sorry, I just had to change a clock. I'm timing this. I'm gonna make each one of these lessons about 15 minutes long and they're all gonna combine. If you've got this screen here, I want you to click on the three little bars for your preferences and you'll get to a screen like this. You might not see anything other than these two buttons up here. I want you to click on create new and a simple template in meters. Thank you. Now, the little figure here, the character, I think her name is Helen. If you go to the options, you can probably see. Um, hi, here. There it is, Helen. Um, she's there as just to give you a sense of scale. This is used a lot for architecture, and um, <clears throat> the figures on there give give a, a viewer a sense of scale. I've just moved her over there. So we're going to use these tools along here mostly. And over here we'll go to some preferences and options as we go. And um, I'll try to go through them. Okay, I, I haven't used the search. Um, maybe, yeah, maybe that's useful. Um, feel free to give it a go. So if I was looking for a tool like um, Circle, yep, okay. Uh, Let's go through what we've got. Okay, we've got select. Just like any other piece of software, we can select an asset, an element, a part of it. We've got an eraser. We can delete. Control Z to undo that. Uh, the paint bucket we won't get into till right at the end. And we've got an eyedropper and a paint bucket. So fill, colors, textures. We've got pencil. which we will use and below that's a freehand which I'd like you to stay away from it's annoying uh, arc tool and when I click on anything with a little arrow it pops out with all the little options or the, the sort of the tools enclosed in that sort of sub tools uh, shapes squares rectangles circles and polygons that'll make our complex shapes we've got our features our Push, pull, rotate, or, or follow along, uh, offset. We've got some solid modeling tools, not much. And we've got move, which we'll lose, use a lot. Scale, rotate. Uh, we've got some tape measures to measure, construction lines, dimensions. Uh, we can do call outs. Uh, looks like a cross section there, sectional plane, and we can find our or we'll move our origin. We've got a little uh, walk-alongs we can do, little walk-throughs, position camera, look around, and then we can move the camera here. This one will use a fair bit, zoom extents, and um, if you don't have a mouse, which I think you'll struggle with, um, I've seen students use these tools down here to get around. 
Okay, let me talk about the mouse. Um, if I roll the wheel, I zoom in and out. If I hold the wheel, the scroll button, the middle mouse button, I can orbit. If I hold shift and press that button, the middle button, the scroll wheel, I can pan left and right, up and down. It's pretty straightforward. This software was written to be very, very user friendly and it doesn't, it doesn't, um, it, it, it works very well in that respect. Okay, so I can select, I can move, and we're about ready to draw. Okay, I'll just flick that over there. Okay, so we've got full screen. I'm gonna full screen it there. Okay, let's start with our castle. We're gonna do the turrets first. Now, I'm not gonna do this the way I probably would do it now. I'm doing it like you are starting, like you are learning the software. So I'm not gonna do components and groups and things like that. I'm really starting, I really want you just to learn how to navigate around and use the um, the origin and these, uh, these axis lines. So don't stress too much. Uh, here we go. This is the, the first thing I teach anyone learning to use uh, SketchUp. It, it takes a little while to get the hang of it. I don't hold the, the left button down. Okay. I, I'm going to start at my origin. I could start anywhere along here, but I'm going to start at my zero, zero, zero. Click once and let go of the mouse and then pull it out. Now I can see lines giving me... Um, golden proportions and squares and stuff like that, but I'm gonna type in. Now I don't have to come over here and click. You can see down in the bottom right hand corner, you can see my dimensions, okay? It gives me a rectangle, square, all that. I'm just gonna type. So I don't wanna just, I wanna get a four meter by four meter square. And I don't wanna sort of try to get it like that. I'm just going to click once, bring it out, type in 4, comma 4. I have my square. Now I'm going to move it around. So have a look here. If I go to select, I can do it multiple ways. I tend to um, double click or and select it all. So what I've got is edges and faces, okay? But you could drag from the left. See how nothing got selected? I'll tell you why in a minute. If I drag from the right, everything that bounding box touches will be selected. If I drag from the left, everything that's fully enclosed in the box will be selected. If I double click, I'll select everything. Okay. I want my turrets about 20 meters apart. So I'm going to Double click, I've got all my edges and my faces blue, and then I'm gonna come down here to where it says move. If you were playing around earlier and it's got rotate, click on it and go move. Or maybe you could type it up here. There you go, move. And there's a shortcut for it, M. I, I, in this software I don't tend to use shortcuts very much, but maybe I should. Now as I move the mouse around, it'll lock into midpoints endpoints and intersections, things like that, important things. Uh, I'm going to take it from maybe maybe this midpoint here and I'm going to move it along that red edge. I can move it along green, red, even the blue up and down. But I want to make sure that line remains one of those three colors. In my case here, red. You might be drawing on the green and want to draw it up the green. Not a big drama, but just keep it aligned. Now I want to duplicate, I want to make copies of it. Very easy in SketchUp, I'm going to press Control and I've got a second copy of it. I clicked once, I pressed Move and then I hit Control and now I've got a copy. I could go along here and try to figure out where I want to go but I know I want to go 20 meters from here. So I see I moved that out there, I haven't clicked again that point there I want 20 
meters, okay? I'm going to have to add my four meters, I think. So I'm going to type in 24. Now I can roll the mouse, or I could have gone here down to there and zoom extents and show me the two. It's selected and I want to do the other side. So I'm going to hold down shift, select, click on that one. Maybe I, well, no, I'll go move and I'll move it from this one. Hit control, the green and type in 20. Now I'll zoom extents. There we go. I've got my four turrets. I'm going to do pencil and then I'm going to come from the midpoint to the midpoint. I don't want to draw a line over like that, so I'm going to press escape. Or I could, and in this case, I could hold down the left button. It's been a while since I've used this software. Okay, so I held the button down for that one, but that's not really a good habit to get into. You got five minutes left in this tutorial. I'm going to do the wall thickness. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to come down to where it says push pull and do an offset. The icon should look like that. So I'm going to bring this line in. So I came over, picked my offset, found the face I want to offset, and bring the line in. I could offset it out or in. I'm going to come in and type in 0.3. So I'm going to do each one of these 0.3 in. So I click once, let go, 0.3. and while I'm at it I'm going to do this one point three I want to get rid of these two lines here and bring it right up to the wall like a brick wall so I'm going to use my pencil tool and I'm going to go from that intersection I'll zoom in here so you can see it hold down the left button make sure it stays on the red right to that edge and then I'm going to delete that. So pan across, pencil, bring it down like that, and delete. Now, that corner to that corner, that corner to that corner. Now, if it doesn't delete, it could be that you've not drawn from the very intersection or you haven't gone all the way like that. So you've got a line that doesn't quite come to that edge. Make sure it touches. Okay. So you should have something that looks like this. So you've got four turrets, you've offset in 0.3 of a meter, you've got your outer walls and in here you'll do your keep. Okay, we'll call that lesson one, get that done, give it a name, save to Give it a name here, so I call it Castle 2020. So when the name's changed, it's saved. If you want to keep it on your own device, you can download it. Any one of these versions will do you. If you had the um, installed 2017, which is on uh, teacher laptops at school, you want to change the version. Um, 
if you want to export it as something to print there. Anyway, get to that stage and um, I'll see you in, in the next episode.